Finally, our chance at a rice empire. It's all I've ever wanted. Seems we have a few things in the way. I'm sure they've been relocated. Now for the painful process of clearing my field. The game does not like that very much at all. The first thing we need today is a better hat. Same old options, let's try again tomorrow. Not only is there a magic cowboy hat, there's also spring, summer, fall, and winter seeds, which is interesting, so I guess the stuff changes daily. But absolutely, most importantly, my hat now changes colors. One staircase for one jade is not a bad deal at all. Three hay for one omni geode is not a good deal. This might actually be the best find yet. Three prismatic shards for one magic rock candy. Basically the crystal meth of the Stardew Valley world. 500 energy, 224 health, plus 2 mining, plus 5 luck, plus 1 speed, plus 5 defense, plus 5 attack. What more could you possibly want? It's definitely expensive at 3 prismatic shards each, but it's worth it for all of that stuff it gives you. Since there seems to be nothing else of value here, I need to figure out who I'm still friends with. Because I want offerings from all these peasants. There's probably a bunch in the mail, but I don't really have time to go through 200 years worth of mail. Though I think with the new mail system, we don't get repeats of the letters you're supposed to get every year. Never mind, here's one right now. Though this could be from years ago, so it's hard to tell. If I go like this, I'll just get a bunch of items. Uh, flashing light warning? Maybe we could tone that down a little bit for the people. The fish today want three Omni Geodes. You know, three Omni Geodes would liven things up around here. Yeah, I bet they would. If you can make it into this pond, you can have them. Hi Pam, would you like some hay? You could probably make a bed out of it. Does Harvey have anything new to play with? Harvey does not have anything new to play with. Good morning, Pierre. Really sorry about all the plants growing in your house, but I don't really know how to get rid of them. What I did notice, however, is that you have a new door. You've had a secret greenhouse this entire time, and here he was stealing my produce anyway. Good morning, mumps. I'm glad you came in. Apparently I'm not the first. Or the second. What do you think? Not as good as my farm. Suck it, Pierre. And by extension, Caroline. Oh, but you're a professional. For me, it's just a hobby. I could tell. I'm not really here for you. I just kind of want the tea so I can go home and plant it myself. And down the rabbit hole we go. Is this regular tea? I feel like there's something wrong with this tea at this point. I feel like you should be charging a lot more money for it. I had no idea that had hallucinogenic properties. But you do have green hair, so it kind of all fits. Okay, but did I get some tea out of the deal? Can I have some tea? I feel like I gotta shake this bush. You know what? I'll come back in a while. I'm sure that's gonna grow. Winter is stupid anyways. I should get married again. And we have a volunteer. Emily it is. You seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. Would look even better with you standing on the porch. You've been here a while. I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now, right? Yup. As farmers, that's basically what we do. You can now access Emily's sewing machine. And yes, that is a euphemism. And we'll get started on that right away. While I'm there, I'm also going to ask her to marry me, and she's going to say yes, because she's not allowed to say no. Some of the more observant amongst you might have noticed I'm wearing a shirt with a heart on it. Well, there's a whole new clothing collection we can play with. Pants, shirt, and once we have access to Emily's sewing machine, we can make our own stuff. If we combine one piece of cloth with any item in the world, like bomb, we can make bomb clothes. See what it turns out like. You'll make bomber jacket, which is kind of fun, but we can do better. Can I bring one of my kids and put the kid in a sewing machine? Toffee clothes? Pour over shirt. A familiar zigzag pattern adorns this shirt. Ah, that smell. We'll go with the coffee shirt for now. Mermaid pendant would be fitting. We can use a bouquet of flowers. Maybe that's like a permanent thing for everyone. A suit top? I was already wearing one of those. That's kind of funny. Yep, exactly what mums typically wears. Coincidence? And the rock candy. Magic sprinkle shirt. A shirt with prismatic sprinkles. Okay, so how about a prismatic shard? The rarest item in the game. Sort of. Prismatic genie pans. I'm gonna be all sorts of colorful after this day's done. Also, dinosaur egg. I want a dinosaur shirt. Dinosaur hat? Even better, a hat fashioned to look like a small dinosaur. What do we think? Is this a good look? Haley, what do you think? I used to complain about this town being so small, but I've grown to like it. Yeah, it doesn't think too much of you though. Please let either of these be a thing. Oh, we can use both. Nope, no we can't. No purple shorts or Mary Lewis statue. That's disappointing. Anyway, since I'm already playing with your sewing machine, we're about to get married. There's good people in this town who just can't seem to find happiness. They just keep marrying me, that's the problem. And since I have all the required items, if you could just bring your sewing machine and leave it behind when you go, that would be great. Looks like mostly everyone showed up for my wedding, including my dinosaur hat, but come on, can you blame me? Oh, are you still here? The wedding was wonderful, wasn't it, dear? I don't know, I completely checked out. No sewing machine. Great. But don't worry, I promise to work very hard at our relationship. And okay, here we go. Before you get to work today, do you have a moment? For you, absolutely not. 
I've been working on something special for you, but I need a little help finishing it. Which translates to, I need you to do all the things to actually make this. It's a secret, so I can't tell you what it is. But could you bring me 200 pieces of fiber? Lady, I'm wearing a dinosaur hat. I can do goddamn anything. Just bring the 200 fiber by when you have a chance. No rush. I can't imagine where I'm gonna find fiber anywhere in this world. Did you know there's probably 200 fiber growing on our farm right now? That's a complete mess. So... If you're not too busy, maybe you could take care of that. I guess I could go through all this work and get her what she wants. Don't say I never did anything for you. This looks perfect. And it's sustainably sourced too. Thanks so much, mumps. He's not wrong. That item spawner never runs out. It'll be a few more days before it's ready. That's okay. I know how to keep myself busy. Mm, five days? Hey, I'm waiting. What do we got? My horoscope for the day isn't too good, but I'm going to make the best of it as always. Let's get to work. Right behind you. Remember when I gave you like 400 fiber to make me something? My divorce is only $50,000. Okay lady, it's been like 8 weeks, you've overstayed your welcome. Yeah, we might be getting somewhere. Welcome home mums, I hope you had a nice day. It was absolutely great right until I walked through the door. So, I finished that secret project I was working on. I'm so proud of you, that it only took like 3 weeks. It's a brand new handmade outfit for you. Do you not see the hat I'm wearing? Oh, we get a whole bunch of stuff. Received Emily's magic hat, boots, shirt, matching set of pants. I always love sewing and making crafts, so I thought it'd be nice to make you something by hand. I had a lot of fun. Hope it fits right and the fiber isn't too itchy. There's boots, hat, shirt, and pants. I know. You now when you wear those clothes, you'll think of me, and you'll know I'm here waiting for you to come home safe, okay? Oh no, she's getting closer. Don't touch the hat. Surprisingly, the boots are actually better than the boots I've been wearing. These are 4 and 2, Emily's boots are 4 and 4. So yeah, we'll go ahead and try this all on. Why not? Yes, this seems like a very good outfit for a farmer who has a lot of self-respect. But she is right, it does remind me of Emily. And it always will. Your sister made me this outfit, but I think you could do better. She's not even here to appreciate her hat, that's so sad. Before we get to your stupidity, do you have any new crops I can play with? Nope, but that completely reminds me, I'm gonna go shake your wife's tea bush. Seriously? Does this thing just not work? Uh, nothing. Can I have some of this now? Okay, as for you, again, I'm gonna do my very best to work in this relationship. I'll see you in the morning. While I'm waiting for you to be interesting, I'm gonna go hunt for dinosaurs. Give me your dinosaur parts. All I want is one egg. That's all I need. That's fine. I didn't really want one anyway. Now you show up. You don't live there anymore. You live in my house. Miss Penny, the cover fell off my math book. Have you tried putting it back on? Their books are falling apart and poor Vincent here just asks, does this mean I don't have to do my homework? For you, kid, it's not going to make a difference either way. Okay, cool event. Haley just ignores those poor children not getting an education. He's perfect for me. New journal entry. I don't want chores. I have an idea. I want to get everyone together for a charity cakewalk. You don't even know what that is. Kind of like musical chairs, but everyone wins and gets a cake. You'll see. I'm listening. Next sunny day in the town square. I like when I finally get directions as to when these things happen. Would you mind bringing a chocolate cake? Yes, I would actually. Yes, begrudgingly. What's up with the snarky attitude? Ask your sister. Yo, that worked out for her. You're gonna show up tomorrow with a chocolate cake, else you're going in that doghouse. You like that better? I do if you're not there. One day, you might just have a little accident. Luckily for me, it's definitely not a clear day, so I don't have to do anything. Today is a very special day, because we get to go and trim Caroline's green bush. And that gives us tea leaves. The young leaves of a tea plant can be brewed into the popular energizing beverage, which for those of you that are wondering, is inferior to coffee in every single way. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing a cake thing right now. Can I do this a lazy way and just run these through a seed maker? No, I need to find where to get the tea sapling and I really don't know where. That's just a mystery for another day. One tea leaf is worth 55 gold. Soak it in. Really sorry, but before we do the stupid cakewalk, I've got to do something. Like go from summer all the way into winter. That was fast. Now I just need to find the right person. Who might not actually be here until next year, which is surprising because I'm on year 220. We're going to pretend the merchant was selling what they were supposed to be selling and buy a bunch of rice shoots. Now it's just a matter of waiting for spring again. Finally, our chance at a rice empire. It's all I've ever wanted. Seems we have a few things in the way. I'm sure they've been relocated. Now for the painful process of clearing my field. The game does not like that very much at all. Well, let's find out how much a field full of rice is worth. One of the really cool things about it is if it's near the water, it doesn't have to be watered and it grows a little bit quicker. So that's probably already my favorite crop ever. Anything where I don't have to do anything, I'm happy. Kind of forgot about the scarecrows. So we're going to throw down one of these new deluxe scarecrows, which has double the radius right here. And uh, I'm going to assume that's going to take care of the whole field for me. Keep up the good work. And yes, fertilizer is overrated. 
Admittedly, I just forgot, but we'll pretend I didn't. Looks like it's all here. It hasn't really been eaten because this stuff only takes like six days to grow. So let's harvest. Or, you know, not... Oh, this stuff's only ready. Okay, well, it's gonna be another day. That's okay, we'll take this stuff now and be back in a day for the rest. That looks more done to me. Perfect! Now I gotta go through the massive effort of harvesting it all. So in case you've ever wondered what happens if you fill your entire field with a brand new crop and forget to fertilize, you get 144,854 gold, give or take a few depending on luck, crows, etc. And today I've worked very hard to spawn a cake into existence. Let's go do the cakewalk thing. All for those stupid kids. And Marnie. And Pam. Oh good, you brought the cake. Kind of had to, else I couldn't enjoy this beautiful event. Seems really moist. Thanks, mumps. It's the moistest damn cake you'll ever see. It's a pretty good turnout, huh? No, I don't like most of these people. Haley, when do we stop? Forgot to blow the whistle. Aw, you're adorably stupid. Everyone should be standing on a numbered square. Haley actually knows how to do it. Your number determines which cake you win. Hopefully they win mine. Mine's definitely the best. Also, your sister's event got me some cool clothes, so this better yield me a useful item. Caroline, you've won Mayor Lewis Cave Carrot Loaf with extra fiber because he's old. Emily, you've got nothing. Pam's Chocolate Stout Cupcakes with aged bourbon buttercream. You're in for a treat, kid. Get out while you can. Jess, you've got Clint's Wild Horseradish Cobbler. That sounds terrible. Just like Clint. I may have burnt the bottom a little, so you might have to peel off a layer of charred matter, but the rest is totally edible. Vincent gets Robin's Triple Syrup and Cream Strawberry Cake. Can we get to mine now? I don't care what the kids want. Pam? Pam gets my cake? Why does Pam get my cake? This is not good at all. I would not have done this event had I known. They raised over $5,000, but I would have given them 10 to do this event without giving Pam something. The money's for Penny. We're gonna buy you a new mom, because your current one sucks. It sounds like you could use some help with your school stuff. Did you hear that, Gates? You're getting brand new school books. Just what every kid wants. You're welcome. It was all my idea. I worked very hard to make this cake, put on this whole event. Hey, Lewis, since we're funding education without touching the town's coffers, you'll be lowering our business tax, right? What's with that, by the way? Why are we paying business tax? Where does it go? I guess we'll never know.